and you are on Collision on Voice FM and on the phone right now all the way from Sweden. I have Marcus from Avatarium. How are you? Oh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm good. So, well, you guys, do you want to start by telling me when you exactly got together because you seem to have been busy putting out releases the last couple of years? Yeah, uh, maybe two, three years ago or something like that. I think three years ago, uh, something like that, Leif Edling contacted me and asked me to help him to record some demos of some songs that he had made. And we started to work on them and had a great time and together. And uh, I really enjoyed the music. So we, from from there, we started to start a band, actually. Yeah. So uh, then Jenny Ann Smith came in and you know the rest of the guys during the process. So the first album was actually started as doing demos and ended up with uh, making an album. And then last year you actually put out an EP, All I Want, but that was was that yeah. recorded specifically for vinyl? Uh, yeah, it, it was meant to just be a vinyl, but I think they did some CDs as well later on. But we 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 like vinyl in the band, and actually the, the first album we did was also meant to just be vinyl. That was our aim. We just wanted to do something that we like, and uh, our plan was to release it on like an obscure record label somewhere and like release a thousand vinyls and then be happy with that we had made a great album. <laughs> mm. But yeah, we were lucky and then, you know, got the big uh, record label to support us, so the things got a little bit bigger than, than we expected. So, have you been going into like an old analog studio and doing your recording? Do you just have one at home? What's I, I have one uh, studio, but it's, it's a small studio, but well equipped. Uh, but we were in another studio doing the, all the foundations because we recorded live, like bass, drums, and guitars. Mm. Uh, so, so it's it's an analog way of thinking. It's, it's, it's like you know the big FSL mixer board and uh, preamps and good old microphones, you know, all that kind of stuff in the great room. But also we, we work with the computer, we record with computer, but we use it as a tape machine. So we don't edit and do all this kind of stuff. We just use it to record and uh, try to play as good as we can and rehearse. So, so it sounds good that way instead of fixing things in computers. Yeah. Well, you did in 2000. Sorry. Uh, we, we, we talked about because we also have a we also have like tape machines we could record on tape, but we took the decision to work with computer anyway. Yeah. And I, I think we're very happy with the results. Oh, that's good. And in 2013, you released an EP and a full length, and then an EP in 2014, and now you've just released yeah. the Girl with the Raven Mask, which is another full length. Yeah. Have you guys done a lot of touring in amongst that? We've been playing, um, mainly we've been playing a lot of festivals around in Europe. And then uh, we've been doing some touring. Um, it depends on what you mean with much touring. But we've, we've been doing many shows. But I'm, I'm used to touring a lot. So for me, it's... I'm, I'm wondering if you've left Europe, actually, got come to America, gone to America or come to Australia or anything no, yet. No, we've just been playing in Europe this far. I, I think it's, for us it's been a very good way to, because it's a new band, Fresh band process was important to, to play shows and to see if the band works and uh, you know musical and uh, personalities and everything. So, so and then we have got good opportunities to play in Europe. So, but now now we're getting ready for the rest of the world. I think. No, that's what I was going to ask. You're going to take a bit more time and tour this one, possibly find your way over to Australia. Yeah, that would be amazing. We would love to do that. <laughs> see what happens in Australia and see if people want to come, then I'm sure we will, would love to come to Australia. Yeah. Can I ask, actually, like, did you always know you were going to be in a band or did this sort of just happen? For me, yeah, I, I, I always wanted to be a musician, actually, since I heard, like, electric guitar the first time. Right. So, so I've, been, uh, I've been working <laughs> to make it happen a lot, I guess. So I suppose actually getting to tour the world is part of that dream. Yeah, yeah, it is. And, uh, and then, of course, when you when you start to do it, and uh, and you realise it's not exactly how you <laughs> how it looked in your dreams, but it's, uh, I still love to do it. And I actually 
the more I do it, the older I get, the more I love to play music. So, so oh. yeah. That's really good. Uh, so I will actually, I'll tell people they can find you at facebook.com forward slash avatarium official. Am I saying that right? Is it yeah. avatarium? Yeah, avatarium. Yeah, that's how we, how we say it. Awesome. Wait to pronounce it. You are also avatariumofficial.se on the web. Yeah, I think so, yeah. And you have a video out for the single Hypnotized, off your, which is a lyrics video of the album The Girl with the Raven Mask. I'm actually going to play the title track, The Girl with the Raven Mask, for people. Ah, I'm happy. I hope people will enjoy it. That's, that's like one of the two up-tempo songs from the album. Yeah. A, little bit more, a little bit more like energy and... Uh, Ah, cool, cool song. I really like that one. A little bit like old uh, D of McStuffin, more Bruce era kind of. Yeah, like you've that. actually you've got the ear of Australians right now. Is there something you want to tell them to encourage them to check you out and maybe grab the album? Yeah, if, you know, I think if if you like music, that's like because we're very inspired by the sixties and the seventies music, but we try make it in a new fresh way so if you like like good music heavy and a little bit dark music with a but with a modern twist you know and uh, very good lyrics i would say from lately at ling and um, also it's not computer music it's real people playing for real so i think i think we need more of that actually so i hope uh, if you like that kind of thing then i think you should listen to avatarium and also Excellent vocals. Janelle Smith is one of the best singers, I would say, <laughs> in <laughs> rock and hard rock music today. She's amazing. She surprises me every time. <laughs> well, that's good. At least, you know, I mean, you've got a, it's your band. <laughs> Hopefully you love the people in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm very happy, you know, because it's, it's not easy to find, to find uh, really good musicians. Anyway, especially singers, I would say. And it sounds a bit like he's uh, taken a bit of time to do a bit of experimenting and find out who you are as a band and what style you want. Yeah, and uh, that's that's the thing with Avatar. We always try to make break new boundaries and try to do new stuff. We we don't want to just you know repeat what other people have been doing. We want to do new stuff and we want to do find new sounds. And so every album for us is. It's a way to find new ways of expressing ourselves and working with music and lyrics. Awesome. So whether you think you know Avatarium or not, you should definitely check out the new album, The Girl with the Raven Mask, and you can find out more about them from avatariumofficial.se is probably the quickest place to go because you've got all your tour dates, your videos merchandise links everything yeah. you need thank you very much for your time marcus thank you very much and i really hope that we can come soon to australia so i hope you people will like the album <laughs> well i'll be keeping an eye out for you and we'll have a chat when you do get here in the oh, that's great hopefully early next year <laughs> yeah <laughs> hopefully hopefully but well, thank you very much thank you and yes yeah, i'm and gonna enjoy uh, the song I definitely will and I hope people at home do. This is Avatarium and Girl with the Raven Mask and I'll be back on Collision. Thanks, Marcus. Thank you.